Razor Leaf ripping apart Charizard. Despite being resisted, Dragon Claw takes us out. We come in with our own Charizard. It's going to be Charizard versus the world. In comes Steelix. It's on Thunderfang. Thunderfang ripping us apart. We make the Blast Burn. But is Blast Burn going to be enough? Two knockouts. Well, you're going to have to watch the video to find out. So welcome back to the home of Shadow Pokemon. Or perhaps you could say the Spice Zone. Our resident Spice Lord, the king of entertainment, my good friend Ty, is back at it again with an absolutely phenomenal team. As you can see on the screen, F for coverage, F for bulk. But we all know that Ty always pulls off some incredible victories. We've got the Legacy Weeping Belt on Razor Leaf. We've got Double Legacy Charizard and Victini running a double fire strat. And if you don't know about Victini, that thing hits like a truck. But without any further ado, let's get into the battles. And in game one. The Legacy Weeping Belt absolutely core breaking the opponent. They had Wish Cash. They pivoted into a double kick double wall. Not the best response. Ty Shielded once. Put in some heavy fast move pressure with the Razor Leaf and then looked to catch the second body slam on his Victini. That is a very brave play. It's three double kicks to each body slam. If Ty messed it up, he could have been hit with a payback to the face. But as always, kids, stay in school. Learns to count. He can't farm down. He fires off the V Create, V Create. Takes care of Dub Ball. That does now lower our defense as well. So this gives Wish Cash minimal farm. Wish Cash commits its first shield day commit to the Mud Shop farm down. Neither of our Pokemon want to take a Blizzard. We still have one shield remaining. Ty comes in. He shows the Charizard pivots into Weeping Bell. We sneak the Razor Leaf. Ty commits the shield and they full send the Blizzard. We now commit to the Razor Leaf farm down. And it is Steelix in the back. Steelix due to its steel. Ground typing is going to take neutral from grass. We fire the first seed bomb. That does big damage to the bulky Steelix we make. The second seed bomb, this is definitely going to get the shield from Steelix. They're now deep into the red. The opponent gets scared. Fire off some energy and Charizard is going to have no problem. Cleaning up this game. Crunch takes care of Weeping Bell. Ty just has to make the Dragon Claw, but why not go all the way for the BM Blast Burn? And that is going to be a good game. GG's and thanks for playing. Moving on to the next battle, we lead Weeping Belt into Gardevoir, hopefully this is Charm, and it is Charm, is resisted, if they are actually on Confusion we would be sitting in a rough spot, the opponent is also a Spice Lord as they bring in a Pyroar, this is definitely not something you see often, but ironically we have seen Ty run Pyroar on the channel before the opponent is looking for the Incinerate farm down, Victini does resist that as Fire, resist Fire, we fire off the V Create, draw a shield, from the Pyroar, he now comes in to his Charizard. We are going to shield once, commit all the way to the wing attack farm down. And let's not kid ourselves, Charizard with energy is absolutely lethal. The opponent has done sparse in the back. Usually a pretty good response for Charizard due to roll out rock side coverage. But Ty so far ahead of the full sends the blast burn. The opponent calls the bait hashtag. Ty was not baiting. He now makes the Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw gets the final shield. Ty anticipating the swap. Reads the opponent like a book. Razor leaves down Gardevoir. And the opponent says fuck that and concede the match. Moving on to the next battle, we see Melmetal in the lead, a huge core breaker for the entirety of our team, despite having two fire types, neither have got a fire type quick move, and they have access to Rock Slide, we tank the Rock Slide, on Weeping Bell, the opponent snipes us with a Bronzong, and things are looking definitely rough, as if the opponent has a water type or a rock type, we just have two fire types to deal with it. And this Bronzon has access to Payback Ty. Correctly shields up the Payback. And he is going to start unleashing V Creates. Is the opponent willing to commit a shield? Yes, they are. Ty continuing to over farm. Getting towards the back-to-back -back V Creates. Once again, is the opponent willing to double shield? Yes, they are. Ty now banks the V Create. Pivots into his Charizard. Charizard made of absolute paper. Ty shields up the Psy Shot. We are going to need to get rid of this Bronzong. As soon as possible, the opponent sends out Melmetal. Attempting to catch a charge move, their timing was not on point. This person obviously needs to go to school. Melmetal gets nuked with a blast burn, and the final Pokemon is a water type. But luckily for us, it is a mud boy. Wish Cash is gonna have to go all the way for a blizzard to take us out. Charizard is gonna fire off the Dragon Claw. We get a whole heap of lag. Dragon Claw does do some decent damage. This needs to be a blizzard if the opponent goes for the mud bomb. They're gonna be very sad, and the opponent does mud bomb bait. Charizard now makes the Blast Burn. Blast Burn is resisted, but someone forgot to tell Wish Cash. We actually almost take him out. The opponent looks to combo play. Ty on point. V Create takes care 
of the bronze on and we quick attack down and take an absolute phenomenal victory moving on to the next one willie weeping bell into knocked out absolutely dreadful we pivot into charizard and the opponent answers with a drape on they throw after four so the opponent is on aquatel this is absolutely dreadful ty is now going for a bait to try and get an advantage in this matchup the opponent takes the bait well guess what we've got the blast burn lock and loaded is the opponent willing to double shield they are not and just like that ty flip switch on its head and we still have a pretty healthy charizard the opponent sends out hitmonchan holy smokes what is the opponent thinking hitmonchan is hit in for resisted with counter and we are hitting for super effective with wing attack we snipe the hitmonchan with our weeping belt if the opponent looks to farm us all the way down we would actually make the sludge the opponent realizes razor leaf is chunking they fire off the sky attack and ty pretty much has this game in the bag we send out victini the opponent is going to need to shadow ball to take us out ty is going to commit a shield and the opponent full sends the shadow ball ty looking to get towards the back-to-back -to -back v creates this v great will be drawing the final shield from knocked out and the second v great is going to be all she wrote who was worried weaving about into knocked out and ty manages to two ball flex GG's and thanks for playing trainer. Moving on to the next battle lead Weeping Bell into Obstagoon. Pretty good as Razor Leaf is absolutely going to chunk and we do resist counter. However, Weeping Bell, not the bulk as the tie commits the shield. On the Night Slash, the opponent pivots out into Knockdown. We answer with Victini. We do have to be fearful of the Shadow Ball. I imagine we do survive at least one, but Ty is now all shields down. He does correctly shield up the Shadow Ball. He is at the back-to-back -back V creates. The opponent still hanging on to two shields. They shield up the first V-Create tie at V-Create. Number two, is the opponent willing to commit their final shield? Yes, they are. So it is a shieldless game. The opponent is going to be taking us out with a Shadow Ball. Knocked out is Energy Drive, but... They only take six wing attacks to the sky attack, whereas we take seven to the blast burn. The opponent doesn't throw the sky attack. They CMP tie to the shadow ball. We take him out with a blast burn tie. Has a lifeline. It's Pelipper in the back tie. Instantly switches into his weaving mill. We throw the neutral sludge bomb and holy smokes. Night, night, sleep type Pelipper. The opponent is going to throw a charge move to take care of weeping bell, but it's going to be a wing attack farm down for the finish. GG's. Moving on to the next battle, we see the angry snowman, a bomber snow in the lead, dreadful for our weep mill, we pivot out into Victini and the opponent answers with a bubble jellison, you hate to see it, quick attack is resisted due to ghost resisting normal, bubble is hitting us for super effective, the opponent shielded up, the psychic tie has got no intentions of shielding up Victini, the opponent goes just for a bubble beam which does allow Ty to make one more psychic he doesn't throw he's looking to force the energy of this jealous that we actually survive the second bubble beam and still make the psychic this is going to do some valuable chip damage to the Jellison, we get bubbled farmed all the way down and Ty now comes in to Weeping Bell. Is this a Shadow Ball or is it just another Bubble Beam bait? And of course the opponent goes for the Bubble Beam. Ty now aggressively switches out into his Charizard. We wing attack farm him all the way down and it is Driftblim in the back. The opponent has one shield remaining and we are full sending the Blast Burn. The opponent commits a shield. This is just an icy win but Ty has two shields. We need to start shielding up. We shield up the Icy Wind. The opponent now looks to bring in a Bomber Snow. They fire the Weather Ball tie. Shields it up. We've just got to get rid of this a Bomber Snow Blast Burn. Double super effective. It'd probably take out a Bomber Snow and its whole family. Down they go. Back out. Comes the Balloon. It's going to be four hexes to the next Icy Wind. And for no reason whatsoever, tie a certain dominance. Catching the Icy Wind on his Weeping Bell. We've got the Blast Burn locked. And loaded, the opponent might be farming us down, but it doesn't really matter. Ty actually go in for the Dragon Claw. Either way, it's more than enough to take care of the balloon. And Ty, as always, providing the entertainment. Moving on to the next one. We see Weeping Bell into Lapras. We are both hitting each other for super effective, but the impressive nerfed Razor Leaf. Yes, Razor Leaf did get a nerf. It's far outweighing the Legacy Ice Shard. Ty can one shield and farm. All the way down, the opponent brings in a fire spin Marowak. We've got two things that resist fire in the back. So we pivot into Charizard. The opponent builds up to what could be a Shadow Bone and Ty commits his final shield. Again, we see Ty 
Two shields to no shields. He is in a tricky spot. He is going for the Dragon Claw bait. The opponent gives up a shield. We make the blast burn. Is the opponent willing to commit the final shield? Yes, they are. So what do I know? It's now all shields down. Marowak gets far too greedy. Ty makes a Dragon Claw. Is Dragon Claw going to be enough? Two knockout. Yes, it is. Alola Marak loses the two to no shield and they have Shiftry in the back. Holy smoke, Shiftry could clean up this battle. Shiftry is going to need to foul play to take us out there at the foul play. Down goes Charizard. Can we quick attack down this thing before it makes a charge move? Perhaps we need to make a catch. Ty comes in. He looks to make the catch and he makes it. Holy crap, Ty. You are going to give me a motherfucking heart attack. Watching these battles foul play takes us out and we quick attack down for the dub. Moving on to the next one, the Dream Lead Sharpedo out here. Getting algorithm, the opponent safe switches into a fire spin. Charizard, Mr. Opponent, did you not get the memo about the wing attack buff? Perhaps they don't want to invest. A Elite TM, so this is a much better matchup for Victini as we do resist the fire spins, whereas the wing attacks would be neutral. The opponent absolutely needs switch advantage at all cost tie. Shields up a Dragon Claw, returns fire with a V Create, and the opponent takes the bait tie, has the psychic locked and loaded is the opponent willing to go down two shields of course they are they're going to do absolutely everything they can to realign their pokemon Ty is choosing to give up switch dragon claw takes us out as the opposing charizard is on fire spin Ty can come in get a boatload of energy the opponent aggressively switches in to sharpedo looking to get off some waterfall damage Ty far too quick he snipes with his weeping bell back out comes charizard they aren't going to be able to fire spin us down before the Razor Leaf gets too much for them. So they dump their energy. Ty comes in, commits to the wing attack farm down. The final Pokemon is a Thunderfang. Steelix Thunderfang ripping us apart. We make the Blast Burn, but is Blast Burn enough to knock out? Of course it is. Who was worried? GG's and thanks for playing. Moving on to the next battle, we see probably my favourite looking Pokemon in the world. It is Mr. Potato Head, aka Probopass. Shout out Toy Story. The opponent save switches into Claydol and they just concede. Um, well, I guess we'll just move on. Moving on to the next one, we see Toxicroak in the lead. Ty attempts to pivot into his Charizard to catch the single resisted Mud Bomb. The opponent shows great discipline. Farm up to a Sludge Bomb and send out Noctowl. Ty goes straight for the Blast Burn. Blast Burn draws a shield. Ty now fires off the Dragon Claw on a CMP Ty. As always, Ty's counting is immaculate. Noctowl doesn't need to shield, but they are going to dump all of their energy. Ty is going to take his two shield advantage and send out Victini. Victini has a lot of work to do. We are going to have to start shielding up to Ty. Is going to shield up the Sky Attack. Sky Attack would be neutral and would lower our health. We now build up a heap of energy. We've got the back-to-back -back V creates. This V create will knock out from this range. Knocked out. Shields it up. And it looks like the opponent is going to send out another Pokemon. They catch the move. On the low health Toxicroak, that isn't bad for us as Toxicroak did have a sludge loaded. We now send out Weeping Bell and the opponent has the Dene in the back. Ty doesn't go for the sludge bomb, he just takes the neutral seed bomb. Seed bomb does massive damage. Weeping Bell does resist everything from the Dene discharge, doesn't take us out. One wing attack takes care of Weeping Bell and Victini is going to be able to close. Ty can just shield up whatever they throw. They go for the sky attack. We've just got to make the V create and this is going to be all she wrote. GG's and thanks for playing. It looks like that was actually a charge move priority event as you didn't see the wing attack come through to a super close game. Moving on to the next one. We see Shadow Weeping Bell into Snorlax Lick. Is really chunking, but Razor Leaf ripping them apart. They're already in the yellow by the time they get to the body slam. So it looks like Ty can one shield and farm all the way down. And that's exactly what he does. The opponent sends out a Smackdown user. Please don't be wall face. It's actually Crustle. Holy smokes. They don't shield the seed bomb. They get Razor Leaf all the way down. Mr. Opponent, you just have to shield the Crustle. And you could have smacked down the entirety of our team. They did not. They've got Machamp in the back. And the opponent is now going to be very sad when they see we've got double fire. Ty switches out to catch the rock slide on his Charizard. And we're going to be able to wing attack. Farm down Machamp. And we managed to pull off a win despite seeing Crustle, which should have absolutely swept the back line. But sometimes 
opponents make misplays like we all make misplays as well so a huge thank you to ty for an incredible showcase holy smokes i don't think anyone else has probably run this team or ever will again hugely grateful for the spicy super entertaining battles so if you like your battles featured on the channel link to my battle submission form is down below if you're enjoying the content smash that like button if you're new consider subscribing and from midnight tonight local time the new team rockets are rotating i should say the new team rocket event is dropping we're gonna get the likes of shadow reggie steel shadow galvantula and shadow a9 i'm actually gonna go out at midnight try and get a shadow galvantula and shadow a9 for the great league and hopefully i'll bring you that video tomorrow so I'd just like to say thanks for watching and i will see you all in the next one